everyone. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'm assuming it's evening where most people are, um, except for you, Vicky, and our Canadian guests. Um, I'm just going to try to get rid of the little shadow behind me because it looks a little bit like a specter. Um, so my name is Connie Ristick. I'm hosting the call today. Uh, welcome, and I'm so glad to see everyone here today. Um, I am an activator. I activated this year, and I'm one of three activators in my family. I've got two sisters, and they also activated. I've been, um, I am calling today from the UK, but I'm originally Canadian. You can tell from my accent. So I'm really here to host today's call. So I'm going to be um, hopefully corralling and um, shepherding uh, you into various activities and conversations. Um, and our objective is really to give you an opportunity to understand what the activator experience is like, what the venture experience is like. And we have some really exciting news about that in the UK today. Um, and to learn a little bit more about CEO. So I want to say a big welcome to everyone who's a guest and everyone who is an activator, um, activator friends and ventures as well uh, on this call. So hopefully um, you will enjoy uh, your first activator call as much as um, the activators on this call did. So quick um, overview of how the call is going to go. We are going to hear from founder Vicki Saunders to start with. Uh, then we're going to hear from Adventure. Then we're going to hear from a couple of activators, not me. Uh, and then we're going to go into breakout groups, which is uh, an exciting part of the call. You get an opportunity to have a, a little bit more of a chat with one another, come back to the larger plenary and um, do some main reflections and uh, take some pictures and call it a night. So that is the flow for today. So let's get started. So first I wanna draw your attention over there to the chat. It's on my Zoom call, it's on the right hand side. Um, and you should see a link there uh, that Caitlin has put. If you click on that link, we're gonna do our check-in. Click on the link and it's a one word check-in tonight. And the question that we want you to answer is, how are you feeling right now? How do you feel? So click on the, good. Okay, we got one excited, great, curious. And this is the most exciting part for those of us who have been using this check-in before we get to see live results of how people are feeling. And we've got 14. Fantastic, you're a good mine in. I'm afraid to though, because I don't wanna navigate away from the, from the screen. So I'm all those feelings all the time. Excited, exhilarated, frazzled, poor frazzled. Sisterhood, yes, exhilarated, pumped. Okay, great. Thank you everyone for that. We'll check out in the same way and we'll see if that changes. Um, so the uh, second thing I wanted to remind you guys, uh, I've written it down because I often forget. Um, if you've just joined or joining the call, I haven't done this. I'm an activator, I've told you that. Put a little A or a little G in front of your name if you can. If you don't know how to do that, let somebody know in the chat and they'll let you know how to do that. Um, and then the third thing, I just wanna get activators attention. Also a chat request. Have you brought someone today? If you have, can you let us know in the chat? Yes, I brought someone today and who it is um, and tag your friend so they know that they've been tagged and uh, we connect you with the person you brought. Um, so that is my last little bit of housekeeping um, for the activators who brought people today to let us know in the chat. So now, uh, I'm, I'm really pleased to um, uh, start the meeting officially by handing over to our founder, Vicki. Hi, everybody. Uh, really happy to have you here. Thanks for coming. And I, I'm noticing a few twos uh, in some of the videos, which is really exciting. And so welcome to Emma and your daughter, Charlotte. Uh, Emma's from UBS. And we're about to have a fun little announcement with them in the next week or so. So welcome to you and to uh, everyone else who's joining us as a guest. Uh, I'm Vicki, I'm the founder of CEO. Uh, and I'm gonna walk you through 
uh, a little bit of what CEO is about. I'm going to share my screen right now. And jump. Let me just get this on the right thing first. Jump right in. So here we go. Uh, so um, I think the place I really want to start is just the kind of why uh, we started CEO. And I don't know about uh, many of you. I'm, uh, I'm in my 50s now. I've been an entrepreneur my whole life. Um, I have witnessed just like all of the challenges of being a woman on this planet. Uh, they are plentiful. We've all experienced the issues. Uh, and we're really starting to see a lot of our systems and structures unravel now. Uh, for women, for women of color in particular, there's just so many blocks and challenges to us achieving our dreams in the world. And with CEO, I wanted to create this environment where you could show up on your, to hold, uh, on your own terms fully yourself um, with the dreams that you have that you want to achieve and get behind each other to support each other. And so this is a very different kind of environment. Um, and I'm going to start with a maybe unusual place, but walking through uh, a bl the, our brand platform and what we really stand for. Uh, and before I do this, I just wanted to uh, welcome Ali to maybe come off mute. Uh, Ali uh, Lario is, is one of our UK activators and she helped us over the last year to really define who we are at CEO. We've been a market for five years, but it's been a bit of a journey uh, as you take a really brand new idea out into the world to see how it starts to um, change and morph in relationship with people. So Ali, are you off mute? Do you mind joining for a sec? <laughs> yes, I'm off mute. Thanks for your hey. uh, kind words. <laughs> you say that you, uh, can you talk a little bit about what we've done together? Yeah, you know, it's so funny to see everything here in one little, um, in one little slide, but uh, there is a lot of work that's gone behind this, talking to a lot of um, activators, talking to a lot of ventures to kind of really distill what's really behind CEO and what we're here for and the why. Um, so, uh, so this is the, the result of it. There is a lot of work that went into it. Um, and I think where we got to is kind of quite interesting and you're gonna hear from some activators in a minute is this idea that, you know, we want to change, right? We want, we can create the world that we um, want. And the CEO is that, is like, it activates the, the change engine inside each one of us. So kind of, there is a lot of, a lot of, a lot behind it for, for those who are new, there is a lot that goes behind it in terms of like, what is CEO's philosophy of abundance, the practice of gen, um, uh, radical generosity, but just wanted to uh, share that this is, there's a lot of work that went here and then there is the work that you see here. And after that we've done, we tried to rename, but um, we couldn't get anything that we really loved. And, but there was also um, this informed a great redesign that you can see um, for those that know Shio, already seen it, for those who are new, we have uh, the, the site and all the materials are brand new. Thanks, Ali. Uh, everything here is co-created all the time. But I, I wanted to put this up here because the place that we really start, this is meant to be read from the bottom up, um, which is where all great change happens from the bottom up. Uh, and so at the very bottom of this is we believe in abundance uh, and together we have everything that we need to solve the world's problems. And I think this is a very different kind of philosophy. Um, but if you step back and look at the state of the world, we literally have everything that we need. We have more than enough food for everyone, more than enough uh, money for everyone. It's just badly distributed in systems that were designed for another time and place. Uh, and the sort of dominant paradigm of winner takes all has really uh, created massive inequality and a lot of challenges. And so we come from this place of abundance and we focus on radical generosity with one another and ourselves. Um, and we're a very kind and brave community and we are all really uh, on a path of transformation. So a little bit about what's behind. We're going to share the deck after if you want to look a little bit more deeply. But our model is essentially, you've heard these words if you're brand new, activators and ventures. Uh, activators are women who contribute uh, capital into this community. So it's 71 pounds a month. Um, and that money's pooled together and we loan it out to ventures, entrepreneurs, who are working on the world's to-do list. So we only fund ventures who are working on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals they get a 0% interest loan, and then they get access to all of us to help them grow their business. And together, uh, we're building this perpetual fund globally, which just keeps rolling forward. Your money goes in, it's loaned out to ventures. We have a 95% payback rate, gets paid back into the fund, and it just keeps rolling forward. 
it's a whole new kind of uh, funding mechanism designed for women by women on our own terms. These are the UN Sustainable Development Goals in case you're unaware of them and every one of our ventures is working on at least one, if not more of them. Uh, so if you're a venture on this call, someone who's looking to uh, apply to CEO, we're looking for people who can articulate how they're working to solve one of these major challenges that we're facing. We, our goal is to get to a billion dollar fund, a million women as soon as possible around the world. We're in five countries right now. Uh, and we started in Canada, we're in the US, New Zealand, Australia, and now the UK. 90% of your money goes to ventures. So it goes into this pool and you're gonna hear from a, a venture shortly. Uh, and then 10% of your contribution goes towards our operations and for the activator experience. Uh, and that is a very robust experience, especially now during COVID. We've done a lot of uh, pivoting since March. And so we have weekly calls like this in every single country every week. And then we have global calls and we sometimes go traveling through Zoom uh, to other countries together to meet other people. And so these calls are a really core part of what we're doing right now. And you're able to join any calls in any countries. Um, we also have uh, an Ask Give app, uh, which is a place you're gonna, when you go to small groups today, you'll be able to ask for support or contribute support to others. It's very much part of the reciprocity in our community of giving and receiving and believing that we have everything that we need and the challenges we have to start asking, which is something that hasn't really built in, been built into our culture. Um, when our money is all pooled together and the ventures have applied, we do this great thing where we have voting parties and we vote for the ventures that we're excited about. And so every uh, activator who contributes money gets a vote. So you get to decide where that money goes. And it's, we use the collective intelligence instead of picking some expert panel uh, that will pick the same kinds of companies that are uh, creating lots of inequality in the world. We do it very differently in a democratized process. And I know we have at least one mother-daughter combo uh, on the call. We love this. We have mothers, daughters, and grandmothers in this network, uh, all creating the kind of world they want by picking ventures that they think are creating a better world. We also have an online community where you can go see everyone else in the network, the thousands of women around the world. You can search by country, by city, by uh, skill set people have for what you're looking for. Uh, and you can find one another and reach out. And we started to do, uh, especially given uh, the racial uh, eruption, <laughs> the reckoning that's going on around the world, uh, we've started to do racial justice working groups um, and more sessions with indigenous persons around the world, which is very core to uh, our work at CEO to um, create equitable systems. So lots of ways to get engaged if you're an activator. This model is very proven. Uh, we have uh, 5,000 activators at the moment will be about 7,000 by the end of the year. We've funded 68 ventures. As far as I know, we have the largest portfolio of women-led ventures working on the SDGs globally in five countries. And we're really just getting started. Uh, we're very excited to have a really big fall where we want to invest in as many ventures as possible. So now is the time that we're really calling for activators and for ventures to apply. Uh, the last thing I want to say is really about on your own terms. For those of you who uh, may not know this, a lot of capital, pretty much all capital in the world uh, that is being invested in ventures has rules attached to it. And so venture capital has very strict rules attached to it around grow as quickly as you can. Uh, you know, it's basically winner takes all, try and win the market, become a unicorn. Um, and most economies are created by small and medium sized businesses. In Canada, it's 98%, in the UK, it's about 97%. In the US, it's 90%. Small and medium-sized businesses really run our economies, but it's very hard for them to get the kind of capital they need. Um, and it's hard to be, you know, for money to be loaned to you. Basically, 2.2% of capital goes to 51% of the population. So it's a complete nightmare out there to be funded. And one of our things at CEO is really, these 0% interest loans are one thing, great terms, but also you define how and what kind of impact you wanna have at CEO, and then you get capital on your own terms. You can also show up here as an activator on your own terms. If you're super busy, you can just put your credit card in, become an activator and, and know that we are gonna create incredible impact with your capital. If you wanna jump, jump right in, become an advisor to some of these ventures, become a customer, help amplify these stories and support one another, you can do that too. You can come in and out, light, super deep, whatever it is that you want here. There are no rules. We're creating the new world that works on everyone's terms. 
this fun thing happened for those of you who follow sort of what's going on in the world. Uh, last week, Jacinda Adern uh, was holding our CEO magazine and talking to uh, the editor in chief of CEO magazine in New Zealand, who basically stalked her at an event, uh, saw her coming down the stairs by herself and had a meeting. <laughs> so we're excited about this because we're a big fan of uh, Jacinda's leadership. Uh, she's very much focused on kindness as a core to creating strong societies. Uh, and that's very much what we're about at CEO. So welcome everyone, I'm glad you're here. And now I'll turn it back over to Connie. Taken back to my first uh, experience listening to Vicki and um, just in the, uh, in the COVID year, we've had uh, the shift that's happened uh, in CEO, but the stability of this community is uh, super inspiring. So um, I, I, Vicki, as Vicki mentioned, we're going to hear from one of the ventures. We've got uh, a really exciting uh, announcement, which is yesterday, we made our first call for ventures here in the, U in the UK. Um, uh, yesterday was a huge milestone for us. And we want to celebrate that and um, kind of let you know what that's going to be like for us as UK activators. So we have invited Nita Tandon to come and share with us what it's uh, been for, like for her as a venture to have been funded um, with our, for, by our sister, um, sisters in Canada. So Nita, over to you. Hi, everyone. So, so wonderful to be um, here and be able to see all of you on, on screen as well. Um, just to give you a little bit about how my journey started. So first of all, I'm the founder and CEO of Dalcini Stainless. It is a company that is dedicated to making healthy, um, infinitely recyclable stainless steel. And stainless steel lunchware essentially is how it got started and now we're doing housewares in general. Um, so looking at the SDGs, the two that we are focusing on is three, which is health, health and well-being, and also number 12, which is, um, I've got it up on my board here, responsible consumption. Um, and interestingly enough, I never really looked at SDGs when I started my company, but when I looked at them, I said, this, I think, is where my struggle has been because I want to do business different. Um, I want to do business that has meaning to it. But every time I would go to the entrepreneurship centers or looking for financing or anything like that, I was constantly told that my, my business model was wrong, um, that I needed a product to fail so that people would repurchase again. Um, I, I was told that, um, you know, you know I, I grew up in Ottawa and when I was looking for funding, they would say, you know, your community has done very well, you should go seek money from them. And I thought, well, why is suddenly my color, my, the color of my skin having an impact on my business idea? Um, then I was looked at as, oh, lunch containers, that's cute. And the end of conversation, or this isn't scalable. These were all um, roadblocks. CEO was so different right from the get go. Um, I can't even explain without kind of getting tearful about it because it is so different. It will start with, um, I ended up going to the first CEO summit meeting, I guess it was two years ago, and um, I, I couldn't get a babysitter for my daughter. So it started with, okay, I really want to go to this meeting and I wonder how it's going to be. I'm bringing my daughter in tow. And I was expecting it to be like all the other meetings where they look at you and say, you know, you don't belong here. You're not a business person if you're trying to be a mother at the same time. And this was a completely different group. They looked at you. They all became mothers in the same room. Um, no one looked at us as being an issue at all. So start with that was this feeling of you are invited. Every bit about you was accepted. Um, no one once asked me what country I came from, what my background was, nothing. It was your adventure. Let me hear about it. And it started with that. Um, they, regardless of who I met, what their backgrounds were, everyone's initial um, step forward was, how can I help? This was so different from anyone else that I had met in the business world. So a little bit about me, my background, um, I did 25 year career in health um, and then in pharmaceutical. I did um, business consulting, but none of that mattered because when I became a mother, um, everyone just looked at me as being a stay-at-home mom uh, 
my, you know, getting into business, like I'd mentioned, skin color became an issue. I have a husband who's Caucasian. So very often the conversation would change when he would step into a room. Um, if I had women as my, um, to sign a lease, they've really wanted to have a lot of, um, uh, what were the words, uh, like business um, references. And I gave my business references that happened to be all women because that's who I was dealing with. They didn't call any of them. Um, I was turned down for warehouse space. Um, so there's just so many different roadblocks. And so the first call I made was um, to CEO. And I said, can someone help me here? Because I've now been turned down twice and I'm watching everyone else grow around me and I can't grow my company if I'm still working in my basement. So this was the first time that I said, wow, that one call made a difference and I, I got my warehouse space. Um, but then COVID happened. So I moved into the warehouse space and all of my retailers, um, and I was ready to just grow in that direction, but all of my retailers, one by one, were closing their doors. So my, my sales dropped by 90%. And I just thought in this panic mode, how do I ask for help? And um, like Vicki alluded to, that's a very difficult place for many women to be in, including myself. And so I started with little things. I said, oh, this activator community, um, can you like my Facebook page? Can you, you know, share what I'm doing? And little tiny things until I got to this desperate kind of state, which I said, I'm now going to move into e-commerce in, in uh, greater depth. And is there someone that can make a first purchase from the UK to just tell me what that experience is like? And Anna, I can see you on the call right now. And I'm so grateful. It was, it was a tiny ask and she responded right away and she made her first purchase. Um, she made, uh, show you some Dalcini stainless containers of what we've got. She made the purchase and it wasn't, uh, <laughs> there you go. It wasn't even just the purchase. It was the feedback afterwards. What was that experience like? Give me honest feedback. And it, although I had never met her, I just felt like it was a friend that was giving me honest feedback. So today I'm very, very excited to say, we now have another website. We now um, sell to the UK. Um, and that was because of the help of Anna. Um, then I took my next step, which is I said, okay, that, that worked. Maybe I can ask something, you know, um, again. And then my next one was very, very specific. I had a retailer in mind last year that I wanted to, um, to do work with. And when every other store was closing, they had an online presence. Um, as well as as soon as things opened up, it wouldn't be looking at one store. They have a hundred stores across Canada. So again, I went to the, the activator group and I said, does anyone have a connection to Indigo? And sure enough, there was a, an activator that did. She put me in contact with them. And I'm very happy to say I am now in a hundred stores across Canada. Um, and, and that was because of, uh, of an activator as well. So this, this, um, this thought that there is everything we need in this group is 100% absolutely true. Um, it is, I, you know, my initial thing, and I had said this to Vicki before, was I really thought after all of the negative that I had faced in business, that this group, and when I just saw it at a top level, I thought it's going to be, it's going to be white women supporting white women was my initial thought. And it is so far beyond that um, because it's not that I don't want to say you don't feel color. It's that your color is accepted because I don't want people to say, oh, I didn't even know you're Indian. Well, you should know that I'm Indian because that's part of my story. Um, and, and know that that has experience and being an immigrant has worth to it. And you just start from a different place. So with all of that, I will say that I'm super, super excited to be a venture with um, CEO. If there's one ask um, today, I'm going to do one more ask because I'm getting better at this every time. Um, my ask is if there is an activator um, from the UK that has any connections to a distributor, specifically a distributor that um, looks at uh, health stores, that looks at zero waste um, stores, and also at higher end um, housewares. If there's anyone that has a connection, I would love to hear from you. Wow, uh, Nita, I'm, uh, thank you so much for sharing your story. And uh, I'm always speechless after um, 
after I get to hear or after we get to hear from ventures, uh, I could see lots and lots of faces lighting up and you've got lots of messages in the chat um, <laughs> to uh, say, hey, listen, if you've got any questions specifically from a venture perspective for Anita, please put them in the chat and we'll get them to her. Um, we're going to move on now. I want to um, make sure that our activators have an opportunity also to share their um, experience and uh, it will be a tough act to follow, but I am going to ask Basola to, to give us a minute on what it's like to be an activator for CEO in the UK. Definitely a tough act to follow. I didn't want to go behind Nita. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Basola, I'm an activator. And so just a bit of my, my background. So I worked in financial services all through my career and in my last role, I was the EMEA CFO for Global Markets in an American bank. Um, I left last year to start a social enterprise. However, I knew I wanted to maintain my financial experience and therefore I opted to volunteer and support charities with my financial um, skills. I now sit on a few finance committee um, charities and sit as, on the finance committee as a way of giving back. So that's my background. So when I heard about Chi uh, through a friend, I attended one of these events and I got to hear more about what they did, their core beliefs and vision. And I joined right after the event. And I think the reason why I joined right after was because I've always given to organizations that are close to what I'm passionate about and supporting women on the world's to-do list. When I heard Vicky give this amazing vision was for me was an easy decision right on the spot to make. It was always about giving into kind of what I was passionate about. And so in, 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 all, in, in, in addition for me to give in even to the CEO community, which is 71 pounds a month, um, I still felt that I wanted to give more of my time as well. So financially was one thing, but how could I also give? And they've talked about the Ask Give platform. And as I mentioned earlier, so I registered to offer to give financial support to other CEO activators who just needed a bit more support. So this is women supporting women. And what came of that was that I, I now have a body, Ali, where we've had this arrangement where I've stepped in really as an interim CFO for her business. And I'm on the chip because she, it's, not for, it's all free and it's all on a voluntary basis. And so one of the things we often talk about is, I mean, I talk about as an activator is, I think I'm giving 850 pounds for the year but we actually get a lot out of it because in return, Ali became my own brand um, and positioning um, advisor as well. And so she's helped me immensely, immensely. I've got zero creativity and she's just stepped in to help. And so it's been a way where we've really celebrated and supported each other ever since. Um, the community spirit has been amazing. I'm not sure if Ruby's on the call. Um, I know Esther's on the call, but I've made new friends, and especially when we meet on Fridays. And I remember during lockdown, we used to have Friday ch um, chill out on Zoom with a glass of wine. That was our staple. So it wasn't so much for me just even giving financially or giving back. Um, it was also for me gaining friends, was gaining a community and gaining a family. And I think that's been one thing that I have really been supported by, again, especially during the, the COVID period. So I would say um, it's a great vision to be supporting women. I think just as Nita has eloquently shared, I'm ashamed to go after her, but, um, yeah, it's, been, but it's been, it's, it's a great organization. So thank you, Vicky, for starting um, such a, a mission. And I think we're all here behind you to support you. And I'll sure. hand back to Connie. Thank you, Basola. Um, and we're going to hear next from Suzanne. Hi everybody, Suzanne Beagle here in Shoreditch in London and I became an activator first in uh, the States and so then um, when it was time to come to the UK, I've been on Vicky's Global Advisory Council and she's on mine for Gender Smart Investing Summit. Um, I was so excited about the possibility of bringing CEO here and so I'm a long time, I'm an, I'm an uh, entrepreneur uh, who built and sold a business in the ed tech space um, I sold my company in the late 90s. I've been an active angel investor and venture investor and, and much more um, in, with a focus on investing with a gender lens. And I started, among other things, an angel network here in the UK called Clearly Social Angels and Sophie Markle. Um, and I know each other from that. Um, and um, I'm obsessed 
everybody who knows me is knows that I'm obsessed about getting more capital um, to women, um, getting more capital to companies that are led by, founded by uh, women, but also positive women impact and gender balanced teams. Um, and um, that are working on things, but only that are working on the world's to-do list. Um, and I am so happy that this is the focus um, that we've got. And now to be the fifth country, um, I have said to Vicki and Jesse many times, um, we're the fifth country and it's not a competition, but we're gonna be the best country. <laughs> um, and we have such an amazing group of uh, about a hundred women already. And now we have till the end of October to get ourselves to 250 and I am so, I stood up at the uh, Shigeo Global Summit uh, in March and I said, we're, and I, and I had said to Vicki earlier, you know, is this really gonna be the year during everything that's going on that we can really make this happen? And at the end of that summit, uh, there was such positive energy and I could so totally see it uh, that I said, hell yeah, we're, we're in. And so um, this is about getting to back entrepreneurs who might ultimately be the next, you know, angel investment, venture investment that you might make, or backing entrepreneurs who are doing bold, ambitious things that um, might not be that this is the venture that is going to be it, but it will be her next venture. It's about connecting with each other. And it is absolutely about the gives and the asks and the how, who do you know, how can you add your um, your expertise, your contacts, your connections, your insights. And I do want to say one thing on your own terms is both for the entrepreneurs, but it's very much also for us. I, I know a lot of you that are friends of mine that are on this call do not have that much time. We're all doing so much. So there are many ways to contribute and to be involved. If you have time, it's awesome. If you don't have time, there are lots of ways to be um, making this happen and dipping in on the time that you do have. Um, and, and there may be like, hey, I've got the ability to really jump in more at one point and then, I don't, and then I'm slammed and I don't have any time. It's, it's really something that can be on your own terms, but it is seductive. I will say you start to get to know people, you start to get to hear about people's, each other's businesses, and you just can't resist wanting to help. But we also have an ability to say, hey, just right now, not right now, I just can't or I'm over my head, you know, with stuff. And, and, um, and there's a lot of respect there. So this is about being, it's radical generosity. Um, it's about boldness and bravery, and it's about kindness and spirit with each other as activators, as activators with, entrepreneur, with the entrepreneurs that we're backing um, and in every way that we can. And I'm just so excited um, that we're making it happen in the UK. So, um, First of all, my request is activate. Second request is think about who else you know. What I love also is that, you know, there's social media. You need a letter to send somebody, there's a template. You need a post, a blog post, you need a LinkedIn post, you need a tweet. It's like, Shio makes it easy for you. And I will say as much as I love and adore Vicky and her vision and what an extraordinary person she is, this is not about following Vicky. This is not about backing Vicky up for what Vicky wants to do. Um, Vicky, I love you so much. This is our thing. This is all of our thing. Um, and we're gonna make it in the UK. Uh, we're gonna make it a UK thing. Um, and we're gonna be, get to be part of this unbelievable global community. And um, this is a collective. Um, and um, Vicky's the spark, uh, but we are all unbelievable sparks. So I'll leave it at there and just say thank you for um, all that everybody here is doing to make this happen. And I can't wait. The fact that the portal just opened for entrepreneurs to apply. Um, I know my friend from Bethnal Green Ventures and Sophie and, um, and Sophie Lamban and all these people that are on that know tons of amazing entrepreneurs. So encourage them. Thanks. Thank you, Suzanne. You've done my little... Um reminder about the uh, about the UK ventures. I'm so excited to see what the UK comes forward with in terms of the entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs that are here. So I totally agree with you and watch this space. I can see that Caitlin has put the link in the chat for um, you if you're an entrepreneur that wants to become a venture or somebody you know. So do, um, we can't wait for that. Okay, so now um, we're gonna move into uh, the breakout section. So you're gonna get an opportunity to 
work in smaller groups and talk to each other and get to know each other a little bit. Um, for those of you who haven't been in a breakout before, I'll just run through, you know, our suggested way of running it. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. Make sure that people um, get an opportunity to hear from everyone. This is really our opportunity to practice radical generosity. Um, if you don't get an opportunity to practice it that often, now's the time. Uh, it's one of the things I like about it best. And um, so you'll learn how to do that. That's through our Ask, Give um, process and platform. Um, but what I would suggest is uh, you bring your, bring your phone and use a timer, um, first of all, to, well, use your calculator first to figure out how, many, how much time each um, woman has to speak, and then use timer so you get an opportunity um, to hear from everyone. That's just a goal. Um, if you don't, you didn't fail. Um, it just helps a lot. So just bring that with you. And then go one person at a time. And our suggested way of running it is um, you say who you are and um, whether you're an activator or a guest uh, or a venture. And then you can do an ask, something that you need from the community. And you've heard some examples today of those. It can be a little teeny weeny ask, like Nita thought she was making, which made a huge difference in the end. Um, or it can just be, it can be any, any ask. And, uh, or you can, and or you can do a gift, something that you have and, and some skill that you have, a capability you have. You heard an example of that um, between uh, Basola and Ali um, trading off on skills. It could be a give. And then finally, um, guests. It's a great opportunity for you to ask any questions that you have. So if you are a guest, that's the time to do it. So we got seven rooms. Each room will have a facilitator. Um, uh, that is an activator. Um, so they'll make themselves known in, in your room and you can get started with your math and your timers. And we'll see you in 15. So we're running a little bit behind. So what I might suggest is that we'll, I'll actually quick show of hands because I know it's evening for you all. Does anyone have a hard stop? If we went five minutes over, could you stay till Sophie has to go? Everyone else okay to stay for extra five minutes? Okay. We'd love to just give you some space in the breakout. So we'll do 15 minutes. It'll be a turbocharged ask and give session. And then if you could come up with a three word summary, but when we come back, we can share them in the chat to save a little bit of time. So I'll open up the groups now. You'll see a link at the top of your screen to join your breakout group where you can practice ask and give. Thank you everyone. The recording. Welcome back everyone. Thank you for those rapid fire breakouts. Again, usually uh, we have some more time, so appreciate your patience there. And wanted to, um, with that suggestion, if everyone, if each group could share your three word summary, perhaps in the chat. Perfect, we'll give you a minute to do that. And then I will pass it to Ali, who has an ask on behalf of the CEO community when she's done typing her three words. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm multitasking. I think at our group, uh, we got, had a lot of curiosity and maybe even some commit, commitment towards activating with CEO. Um, so that is uh, my group. Um, while everybody's putting everything on the chat, I can kind of do a close with, um, I guess, my ask. Uh, uh, which is about CEO is really about um, inviting everyone to uh, to activate and and the reason why is because I know tons of communities I have one I, fo I founded co-founded a huge community of women creatives global in 55 cities and and there is a, a big the reason why I'm so passionate about CEO is there is a big difference between a network and a community right most women's groups that you see are kind of like networks uh, where everybody just kind of chats perhaps for a transaction. I think here the difference is we build things together, right? So we not just, don't chat, we just kind of, we, we, we build, we're building this together. We're building the world that we want to live in together. Um, so that is why I guess that's for me, that's why I'm really passionate about all this. Um, and, uh, and, you know, there are some amazing people on this call that have helped me when you know, when I need it, uh, including Bosola. And for me, the 71 pounds a month that I pay is just beyond 
any help that Bosola, who is a CFO, could ever give me, um, or Ruby, um, or, or the help that Mahira will give me with uh, Kickstarter tips. So what you get is, um, I think it's a little bit of like, like a sense of um, invincibility, like you feel like you're invincible, right? Um, you feel they have someone supporting you, you feel there's someone supporting, um, having your back. Um, and yeah, you feel like you can do anything, but not just you, together. Thank you, Ali. So um, I think that is um, getting us now towards the end of the session, and they always go quickly like this. There's never enough time, um, but there's always another one to attend uh, a little bit later. So I just want to draw your attention back to the chat. Jesse has put a feedback form up there. It's another thing that we do at CEO. We ask for lots and lots of feedback so we can change. Um, and uh, adapt to what is better for everyone. And I think as long as you are um, clicking on that and giving us your feedback, I can hand back to the photographer who I know will want to take a picture. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, Connie. So if this is your first time joining a SHEO event, actually, quick show of hands for who is this your first time? Amazing. Well, very warm welcome. We like to end our calls and events with a group photo so we can share our experience together on social media. And so we'll take a group photo in a moment and then we'd love um, for you to tag your friends in the recap post. So stay tuned. I'll tag you all on LinkedIn and we'd love for you to invite friends that you'd like to check out to join CEO as an activator and or a venture. So with that in mind, we're gonna take the photo now. We'd love for you to share an expression with how you're feeling in this moment. Perhaps you're feeling connected, support, some of the words we saw in the summary. We like to th um, throw our hands up or perhaps have a heart. How are you feeling in this community of radically generous women? I'm gonna to count to three, expecting to see some movement here. One. Oh, I love the mother-daughter. <laughs> One, two, three. And then there's a second screen. You might be on this screen. So one, two, three. Beautiful. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, and a final reminder that the applic venture applications just opened yesterday as well. So if you are a woman or non-binary entrepreneur or know one that should apply to CEO, please encourage them to check out the application. It's super simple to apply. I'm going to pass it back to Connie for final words. Thanks all. Great. So thank you everyone so much for making the time this evening. And it's wonderful to see so many UK faces. I can't wait to, um, to see what comes of the venture applications. Uh, it only leaves me to say thanks for spending your evening with us. It was wonderful to uh, hear some stories and connect with people. I know in my, folk, in my uh, breakout, we did a lot of um, connectivity. I can only imagine how the other ones went. Really looking forward to seeing you next time. And good night. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye, have a great evening.